G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is a Gormons minigun with 25% faster fire rate and hits have a chance to generate a stealth field. Today, we're going to try something really, really stupid. We're trying to do a stealth heavy gunner build, not using a flamer because they're cheese at the moment because they don't make any noises as uh, as far as the enemies are concerned. Can you do it with a minigun? Can you have a stealth brrrt gun? Well, maybe not. And, you, and if you're wondering why I said that, it's because, look at this. Tell me that doesn't remind you of an A-10 Warthog. It's got the same sort of things. This is the Hot Rod Shark. Paint can be yours very soon. If you want to grind Nuclear Winter, or if you don't want to grind it, it'll probably be replaced to uh, one of the plans that you can get out of those more Miner Pails, or possibly Christmas presents, depending on whether you want to go and grab one of these things. Now, the hit chance to generate a Stealth Field, obviously that's a lot higher if I've got a high rate of fire barrel, but I'm choosing to install this Long Barrel, not only because of that, but also to um, uh, stay back and have more accuracy in combat, so I'm less likely to get spotted. Obviously, in close quarters, the jig will be up pretty soon, but we'll have to see how we go. I've got the follow-through perk, so 40 multiplicity of damage. Tenderizer is also there. We can add a few of these heavy gunner perks to hopefully blindside our enemies before we can... Uh, get shot at. And we're also going to grab one gun army here. It's a very small chance to cripple on high rate of fire weapons such as a minigun. I think it's like slash to 3%. I don't know. Maybe it's like 1, 2, and 3%. It's kind of high since we'll be firing so much, but we can't really rely on that. But if we do happen to get a lucky stagger here and there, or a lucky cripple on a Scorch Beast wing, then we are going to be pretty good. So 54 damage and... Here's a little bit of a follow-up to yesterday's video, because a lot of people were telling me how much they think Hitman suck. He aimed down sights for 25% additive bonus. Um, pro tip, Tear told me if you're using a scope, the bonus doesn't work, because Bethesda, uh, you know, ordered a bunch of monkeys on typewriters to write the code in this game. So use a reflex sight or iron sights, and you'll be fine with that. But the Gormons prefix only does 24%, pending your health. I mean, your hunger and thirst meters are all the way up. So, this prefix does less than the uh, Hitman's legendary effect. So, I don't know if the community have seen through this little charade of this terrible legendary effect and figured out that it's terrible. I know T has, but he's smarter than the average Fallout 76 player. Just because it's new and shiny does not mean it's good. Gormons, as far as I'm concerned, is a nothing prefix. Slightly less nothing... I mean, slightly more nothing than Mutant Slayers or Ghoul Slayers, but come on, we need something better than this. We need something to work with. 24% is nothing. Okay, so here we are outside of the Gao 8 Avenger testing facility. We're 25 mil off in terms of bullet size, but we can pretend. Um, let's go. Here we go, this is a reflex sight on this, and we're immediately in danger! Now, there's a couple of things I could do to make sure I stay undetected for a bit longer. I've got my unyielding armor on now. There we go, there's caution. I can't put a scope on this, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, if I had all of that extra unyielding adrenaline, not adrenaline, unyielding agility bonus. See, they start with A. We're still making a little bit of progress here. If you are watching this on a phone, you probably can't see what I'm doing. But it is what it is, right? And it's okay if we take the odd hit here and there to drain our health down a nerd rage threshold. Because, well, maybe that agility will help this weapon perform. It generally does uh, if I want to use Vats all the time. But this kind of has no option for Vats because, yeah, it's over in a blink. So, thus far... Not super effective. We won't be going inside because I know that's a waste of time. I'll just be fighting super tanky mutants. So what we'll do after this is go to Huntersville, try to open it up a little bit more. Then we'll go to the regularly scheduled enemies because Huntersville, I don't usually go there. And it offers big long sight lines like this, more than what your average minigunner would do. You might consider jumping in power armor and just getting slightly extra damage out of uh, Stabilize here. And I don't think that's a terrible idea. Um, you can also attach a stealth field, uh, stealth boy, on your torso bit for your power armor, which may be something worth thinking about. I don't know if the barrel spin-up causes the enemy to be slightly more on the uh, aware side before you're firing, but... You know, doing this with the with a two-shot 
I think it was like a two shot fire rate, maybe. Um, MG42 the other day I actually had limited success doing that, but you know, there was laggy on that server. The PTS servers are somewhere in America, and that doesn't really suit me. Here's a surprise. Yeah, okay, you go away now. Yeah, he detected us because we we're right next to him, so. We'll just try to scope out these super mutants from this range. We've got fairly decent accuracy, but there's very little silhouette to hit there, and the spread kind of got the better of it. Again, that'd be alleviated somewhat using the uh, necessary perks for uh, making your weapon more accurate, stabilized, but we'll keep on going regardless. At this point, my agility is probably looking fairly high. 21 is not nothing. So, we'll try to persevere. I don't think this is a good idea. I don't think miniguns can do it. Yeah, so we're immediately in danger. He forgot where I was for a second, put his weapon away, then brought it back out. We're not aggroing more than, uh, more than a few pods of them at once, though. It's like, as soon as I lay the trigger down, they're gonna find me, which I'm not gonna complain about. It's a minigun. The only problem is it just doesn't have the right noise, and there's no um, follow-up A10 engines to listen to. Don't call me a coward, mate. Alright, so we went back in the caution there. We are in Nerd Rage now, so we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a purified water. Because, you know, the healing properties of water are definitely real and reflected in the Fallout universe. Maybe if this was, say, bloodied? So I could you know, shoot them less before they die. Uh, are you kidding me, game? Yes, I know, it's the weapon I'm using. And you're lucky that you got out of the way just in time for me to see that dog. Okay, let's move on. This is not working. All right, let's change things up a bit. You'll notice the barrel is looking a little bit shorter. So we're going with accelerated barrel to try to smash as much bullets out of this as possible. And... Well, we're kind of only drawing the aggro of one at a time, then back straight into caution. Those ghouls apparently all slept through that shit. That's kind of interesting. And now it's probably on. Luckily, minigun's got a big, big fire rate. Big mag, so you can kind of mag dump all day. Uh, fine. I don't like power armor legendary. It's way too heavy. Way too heavy. Also, way too big on the screen. Get out of here. There we go. There was some stealth minigunning. Did you see that? Hmm. We'll keep we'll keep up this uh this stealthy. You know how good it would be if you could chuck like a suppressor on a minigun? It'd be stupid and the suppressor would melt in like two seconds, but it'd be awesome. I don't know, attach some of those cryo cells, you know, the ammos that the, the cryolators use. Yeah, just do that. This is just chewing through them because it's a minigun with fire rate, and that's it. Maybe I'm not paying Gormans enough attention here. But I don't think it's because that is giving me all the damage. It's just chopping them up. And we're staggering them quite a bit, so that's possibly uh, one gun army working there. And a lot of these guys, they aren't even up before we start engaging them. And if there's uh, an explosion that blocks my view, which normally would be detrimental, but I'm holding down the trigger and, and if I'm hitting stuff, I'll see the hit markers and numbers. So today, that is not a detriment. But that's nothing to do with the legendary effects on this weapon. I think we are seeing a little bit more success now. Because despite using a minigun, and this might be just because of how slow that I'm playing it, trying to maximize stealth at all. Nice stagger. Very, very timely. Uh, well. Oh shit, here we go. Fight's on now. Take his legs out, maybe. Oh yeah, fight's over. Do we actually do that without taking a hit? Hmm. The question is, was that build strength, weapon strength, or luck? I'll let you decide. Okay, this time we've pumped my agility right up, thanks to gaining my health and unyielding armor. And apologies if I hiccup, I've got the hiccups right now, but the show must go on. There we go. I don't know if you heard that one. I'm trying to keep it as subtle as possible. See, I think the problem is that we're just firing too much. And uh, that's causing me to get detected. 
my all the time. Yeah, I got these stealth fields, but they ain't doing shit if they can still hear, hear me and possibly see the gigantic muzzle flash. The gigantic constant muzzle flash. Now crazy plasma gun guy is going to eat my ass. And tanky man. Alright, that worked out pretty well. See, wars are won by firing more bullets at your enemies than they can possibly fire at you. Which I guess is the, t the tactical advantage of a minigun system like this. They made it small and light, so people in power armor and evidently without power armor can carry them around. And they end up doing pretty well. Now, we'll have the uh, first sneak critical on this fella, and then we'll get the uh, the follow-through bonus, and that's kind of, kind of it. We, we killed him pretty quickly. I'm going to wait for these hiccups to go away, because this is getting stupid. Okay, so the sun is coming up. Goodbye stealth bonus, but that's okay. Because if we can find stragglers here and there, hit him with a sneak critical, possibly and then stagger them constantly and not allow them to get near me, we don't have to worry about the big bullet spongy tanky dudes because we've just got that many bullets. I had 30,000 at the end of this. I'd be, I'm wondering to see... Uh, at the start of this, sorry. And uh, I want to see how many I've got by the end of it, to be honest. Now, we can easily snipe at this one. Kind of easily. We can just see him by the shininess of his shell there, and we can track him quite easily using the hit markers and damage numbers to figure out where they are. So there was an application where I'd possibly use this thing to my advantage. This Blood Eagle is being eaten by a Savage Myelurk King, which I find most satisfying. Looks like the Myelurk King one. And we were firing at him for a good few seconds there before he figured out where we were and the jig was up. And he ain't getting closer. I don't know how much to attribute of this weapon's performance to, like, things such as uh, One Gun Army, which is obviously, I think, carrying it here, especially against the ghouls there. Anyways, we'll go, we'll go for the legs, and we've got the follow-through bonus. We'll use it. No use trying to keep in stealth, so we'll just jump around like this to avoid her insta-kill blast, which we did on this occasion, so suck shit queen, and yuck, what the hell is that? I think that's an arm socket, I don't think that's anything else, and I really hope it's not anything else. Alright, time to finally rein in some bats with this thing, and this should go to shit really quickly, because I'm gonna get seen by that thing, by that thing, and they're gonna spawn their their drop-offs of Scorch to harass me while it's on the ground, so what I'll probably do is just drop a pay to win tent pull a stim pack out of my ass actually i could probably do that from like women have extra pockets on the front men don't have them so that's probably where they come from it's probably a lot easier than reaching into your asshole and ripping out a stim pack all right fights on we're going to need some of the maybe a rad away just to offset this amount of rads and then we're going to put like a billion bullets into this thing and then wonder why the stealth... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, God. I really hope this is naturally happening damage. Nice 500 round mag dump. We really brought it to him just then. All right. I'm just... I was just observing the interesting behavior of the health bar there. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Get out of my face. Thank you. Can't stagger me twice in a row like that, can you? But you can kill me because the barrel has no clutch and I can't press the clutch and, like, release it when I want to fire again like they did in Fallout 4. Someone, somewhere, and this is real law speaking now, uh, come back and redesign the miniguns in the 200... Wait, 175-ish years? 185, I think. Codsworth said a bit after 210. But uh, they come back and installed clutches on the minigun. Must have been like a full sort of recall. Like all of the Mitsubishis being recalled for dodgy airbags. Yeah, that's why you don't buy anything other than Commodores, alright? Anyways, so we died for a, some nuclear waste, which is extracted from Swan and some other useless fucking things that I have billions of. 
It appears that the stealth minigun is not a winner in this game. It is not a thing that works. And I think we've all learned something today. And what we've learned is that I'm a fucking idiot. And on that bombshell, it's time for me to go. Thank you very much for watching.